Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin using logarithmic regression. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go for 450,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the support. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is our logarithmic regression chart for the price of Bitcoin, okay? And we've used this extensively over the last two years. Um, we used it to identify our accumulation phase for Bitcoin, and we've been using it ever since to sort of gauge where are theoretical tops and where could we go at points in the future, okay? Now, one question I often get is, well, Ben, what do you think will be the cycle bottom of the next cycle? So where do you think that cycle bottom will be? Well, I think generally speaking, right now, the, the, the future bottom of the next market cycle is probably higher than the current price of Bitcoin. Okay, now one thing we can do, one thing we can note is that the price of Bitcoin tends to be at the fair value regression line at each halving. Okay, so the white dashed lines on here are the prior halvings for Bitcoin. And what you'll notice, the green line is our fair value. So the line that sort of goes through the middle of this green line is the fair value. And you can note that at each halving, the price of Bitcoin is fairly close to the to the the fair value. Okay, so you can see it back in 20 uh, back in 2012, the the end of 2012. You can see it in 2016, and then you can see it in 2020. All three times we were fairly close to it. The next halving is going to be somewhere over here, and that's going to correspond to around forty thousand or fifty thousand dollars. So my guess is that the future market cycle bottom of the following cycle is or of the next cycle is going to be higher than than the current price okay and the reason i say that is because i i think that ultimately bitcoin will probably peak somewhere around one to two hundred thousand dollars during this cycle but i don't think this cycle peak is going to happen in 2021 as i've mentioned many times i think it's going to happen sometime later uh, and it, the cycle peak this cycle may even be closer to the next halving than, than the last one was. So, I mean, you can see that the time, the time after the first halving was just a little over a year. Okay, so the halving was here at the end of 2012, and then the cycle peak was at the end of 2013. But then the second halving, the cycle peak was further away from the halving. Okay, so you can see the cycle... Uh, the halving was in, in, in mid-2016, and then the cycle peak was in late 2017, so about a year and a half. So this time, we look at it and we say, well, I mean, if we continue the trend, if we dubiously extrapolate, obviously dubious extrapolation is not something you can just walk on down to the bank and say, hey, I'm taking this to the bank, I know this is gonna happen. You can't do that. But we're just looking at the trend. Okay, we're just looking at the trend and saying, all right, well, if history is any indication, then there is a chance that the next cycle peak that takes us into our regression band could be further out than some might anticipate. Again, this one was a year out. This one was about a year and a half out. If this one is two years out and only two years out, then it would put it maybe halfway through 2022, maybe Q3 of 2022 or something. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. It's something to keep in mind that it could look something like that. Now, one of the things you can maybe visualize is, well, what if, what if we draw a line uh, from our drop-off point, our capitulation through this, through this first peak in 2019 and then a second peak in 2021, or at least local peak. What if we do something like that? And, and this cycle is sort of remembered as our, our first leg and then back down, and then a second leg, and then an accumulation, and then our third leg. So I don't think it'll happen exactly like this. In fact, this is something you also cannot take to the bank. But what I would say is that, you know, where we currently are, I think there's a good chance that before the next halving, so this is the key, this is the key thing. Before the next halving, I think Bitcoin will hit 100K. Okay, so I do think it'll hit 100K before the next halving, 
I just don't think it has to go to those levels in 2021. I mean, it could go to 100K in 2021, it maybe goes to 150K in 2022, but I do think that this cycle will be pushed further out. But don't discount the possibility of a prolonged accumulation phase or reaccumulation phase before we make our, our journey to $100,000. We already made it to 64K. You can see that we got pretty handily rejected actually at, by, the, by the logarithmic regression line. We did not make it into it. Um, this, is, this is actually a, you can see this line goes all the way up. Uh, and if we, if we extend it out, um, you know, I mean, by 2024, it's, it's getting, getting pretty high getting probably up pretty high up here by 2024. I mean, this would be a little less than $200,000 and the upper one would take us to over 300 grand. But by, by 2024, I imagine we'll probably be closer to the, to the fair value um, at that time. So maybe we come back down, maybe we go back up and then we come back down. Um, what's interesting is, is how much interest cycle volatility we've had this cycle so far. You can see that in 2019, we, we came out of our regression band and came back down. So the cycle bottom is over here. So we had a move above it and then back down. And then we're having, we had another move that got rejected by the regression band and we've come down about halfway. Okay, we've done, I mean, it's on a logarithmic scale, so I should be careful about what I mean when I say halfway. But you, I mean, just visually speaking, it looks like it's about halfway in between these lines. But remember, this is a logarithmic scale. Um, and so I don't know where the exact local bottom is, whether it could come all the way down to say these levels uh, and then back up, or whether we just sort of consolidate here and, and immediately move back up. But I do think that, that a consolidation phase for Bitcoin is not the worst thing in the world and that it's somewhat needed to push us to $100,000 later on this cycle, which again does not have to mean in 2021. Now, one chart that I really like to look at is this one. And it's the same chart that I just showed you, but instead of only having the price on a logarithmic scale, time is also on a logarithmic scale. So this would be 2012, 2016, 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032, 2036, and 2040. And, and so you can see that this is on a log scale as well. And, and what you'll notice is that it's converging. So our fair value regression band and our peak regression band are converging over the years. So even if we did do something like this, I imagine as the years goes on, at the as the years go on, we will slowly converge closer and closer to you know the the, the bands will converge more and more uh, together. Now I should say that this is another chart where it should be refitted after each market cycle because if you had only fit it to say some of the data over here, it would have already moved it would have already predicted higher prices at the current day so while the the fit is converging itself like if you fit it to say just through this data here like this this and this then it's not too far off from also including this more recent data as well as we get future moves back into our fair value regression trend line maybe we'll have more fits and it'll get a little bit more accurate so it shows that the fair value will cross 100k by 2025. Now again, that doesn't mean we can't go to $100,000 before 2025. It just means that I would maybe consider the fair value to not be $100,000 until 2025. But then if you look to say the million dollar milestone, we wouldn't cross the fair value of that until maybe 2033 or somewhere around that area. I would actually allow a little bit of tolerance on that in, you know, just as a reminder that we will need to refit things whenever we get a future market cycle bottom, and it's likely going to uh, pull the, the projections down, if anything. So far, each refit will, would pull it down, so there's no reason to think that the next one won't also pull it down as well. So I would say, you know, 2030s, the early 2030s, is the earliest we could see a, a fair value of a million dollars for Bitcoin, where, where um, we could, uh, you know, not just be having a blow off peak at a million dollars, but actually, ha actually having some type of, you know, sideways movement at a at million dollars for a while. I would say the 2030s, early 2030s, maybe 22 or 32, 2033 would be the earliest. But you could also argue that it could also be further out, like the mid 2030s, or even maybe the, the late, like, you know, I, I would say give it 20 early 2030s, maybe with a tolerance of five years 
plus five years. I, I don't think minus five years would make a whole lot of sense because then that would put it going to a million dollars uh, and just kind of staying, so, you know, and going to a fair value of a million dollars would put it fairly early. And I don't think that's going to happen. But we can have we can have major moves to the to those levels, of course. Um, I just think that it's going to take take us a while to get to to a level where we can easily sustain it. Um, but anyways, I, I really like this chart because it, it just shows you that we're just in the same channel we've always been in. And and right now we did get rejected here. We did not have any weekly closes in our in our upper regression band. And and if we come down for a little bit and then ultimately make our way into it later, I, I don't really I don't really see that as a problem. Okay, I really I really don't see that as a problem. And I, I think, you know, for, for me personally, it's it makes more sense for Bitcoin to consolidate. Um, like I'm happy that it that it's doing what it's doing right now uh, for a while because I think that we need a lot of larger investors to come in, get some cheap Bitcoin, and and help ride it out to 100k. Obviously, there's a lot of people in profits now that are up 20x, uh, or they were up 20x on Bitcoin from the bottom. Now they're not up 20x, but maybe they're up, um, you know, 15x or 12x depending on exactly where they bought. Um, and so I, I think that I think that you know these people are taking profits. There's some on-chain metrics to suggest that some of these people are taking profits, and it's getting diversified out. But hopefully, we also get some larger, maybe institutional investors that come on, load up on Bitcoin over the next few months, and help us our help us continue our journey to a one hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. If you guys like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you want to know how I'm navigating these markets, remember to check out the sale on the premium list. You can find a link to that in the description below. You'll get access to the weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, and more. Make sure you check it out, lock in the lower rate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Click the bell icon to turn on your notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye.